So far? <laughs> yeah. Ask again after the first four questions. And really? Oh. Pressure. <laughs> first question. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. What can I say about the injury situation? So we had a few, a few um, we missed a few players in training this week, um, but it's so. Who will be not involved? Um, Hendo, I, I, I said already last week, it, it's um, no chance. Um, Daniel Surge, no chance. Um, Roberto Firmino didn't train with the team so far. Should should be probably involved today or tomorrow, so could be an option. And the icing of the cake is that Devo Gorigi had you know, two days, you know, only yesterday, was off yesterday because he had uh, felt a little bit, not probably not serious, but in our situation we have to be then really s sensitive and um, yeah, that's what we did. We will see if he can be involved today or tomorrow, it's not 100%. So, um, yeah, a few open questions. Did we miss anybody? Did I miss? Uh, Henderson, I said, I thought. Um, yeah. Dejan, Dejan, yeah, he played on, uh, on Monday night. Yes, he's fit. So, big opportunity as far as this game is concerned to maybe rise up the table perhaps beyond Manchester City. Given there are rivals for you in terms of Champions League squads as well, Yeah, these games are always important. I, I actually I can't remember a not important game in the Premier League, to be honest. Um, but um, I think we all know about the quality of, of Manchester City. I know probably a few people think yeah, uh, they are out of Champions League now um, against Monaco. But I think the way they played was quite impressive. Yes, Monaco is an unbelievable skill side, uh, full of youth, of talent, and all that stuff. And were two wonderful games to watch, actually. But um, City could could win the game easily, or the, the leg easily in the second half um, of the last game. Uh, and um, but because they are human beings, they missed a few chances too much, and so they were out. And um, that's it. But for the quality. Um, was really high and a um, good moment in the league. So what I want to say with this, I think don't think we, we go there and are the favourites. So, um, and that's a role, but it's not too bad. Um, yes, we know that we can be diff that we can be difficult to play in games like this. That's 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 um, true. But we have to be at our best to get anything there, or something there, because it's um, <laughs> they are strong, they are good, and if you get a little bit of little bit passive, they play you around. Uh, that's uh, around uh, through the stadium wherever you want. So that's that's it. So it's I'm really looking forward to it because this is a it's a, it's a real challenge on the tactical side of the game, and um, two good sides face it, uh, each other. Yes, and it's an important moment in the, in the, in, the, uh, uh, in the season, but I don't think we should. Involve this kind of pressure in the game, but something happens after this game. If we win, I don't know. Are we then one point ahead? But they have, but they have one game less or two. Not sure. They've got a game in hand. Yeah. So um, if you don't win, it's maybe then five or four or five points. I'm not sure. So that's that's all. Yes, it's better. It would be better we win. But if you go to Manchester City and you have to win, that's really difficult. But I think we could go there and that we know that it's possible that we win there. It's also possible that it's a draw. So, um, yeah, I, th I, I thought it makes sense to see it as a real opportunity and uh, not pushing some special pressure in it. Moving on from that then, the way that you played against the sides in the top six so far this season, you've had five wins and four draws so far from those nine games unbeaten. Is it very much a case of the best sides bring the best out of your players? Uh, we 
had a, we had a few other games. Which I, I thought we had a few other games which were much better than these games. But in this kind of defending and not let them do what they like to do, what they used to do. Yes, we are. We we we, we have some ideas if you want. But uh, that, that, but it was re always really hard work. It was not kind of genius or whatever. And I'll play them, and you have to make you win all the decisive challenges, all of them, because you lose one of them. It's really it can be re it hurts really, and all stuff. So yes, um, we've we felt so far good in these games, but it's for me, it's the most difficult team to play. City. I know the, the 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 image in this moment in this country is a little bit different. I heard about that uh, Pep Guardiola style and all that stuff, but it's real football. It's real football, <laughs> and it's difficult to defend them. A lot of a lot of um, teams felt it already, but yes, when you can win the ball, there are a few spaces maybe which you can use, and we we, we know what we have to do there. If we can do it, I don't know in this in this second, but uh, we will try everything. Um, to do the right things, and um, and then it's a it's a could be a fantastic game to watch. That's um, good news. Um, I listened to a manager yesterday saying that he got a player about to his final year of his contract, and would, he said it would be business then to sell that player. I know every, everything's different. Which if, manager? If, <laughs> it was Everton's manager talking about one of his players. But oh. Just in terms of Emre Chan potentially face the same situation coming into his. So how comfortable are you with, with that situation? We are in, actually, it makes no sense to talk about it, but because there obviously, um, I, um, I, I heard about that there was a story out there in the, uh, over the week. Yeah, we, we are in talks, what can I say? They are good, because Emre likes to be here. We, 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 we really like him as a, as, as a person and as a player. So there are talks, nothing else to say about. And until there is uh, the, the final year starts, a few months to uh, a few months um, still, and um, yeah, but uh, no no problems, absolutely no problems in this moment. Completely good talks. How with a lot of other players, and um, yeah, if there's something to say about, we'll be the first again. Yeah. And um, Philip Coutinho has a, a great goal scoring record against Manchester City. Um, by his own admission, so maybe he's not quite back at his best since having that, that ankle problem. So, so how close is he to getting there? How do you get the sort of thing apparently he's doing the training pitch out onto the pitch for him? Look, that's, that's, that's life of an outstanding good football player like Phil. Eh? So it, he has the influence of, of him on, on the game is, 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 is really big. That means if he has not at 100%, so you miss something, that's how it is. But two weeks ago, I'm not sure exactly, we played Arsenal and he did really well. So, yes, Burnley, again, was not best game, So, but he, but he missed in a moment. That's pretty normal after a long injury. It's kind of consistency. So, But the training week so far is perfect. It was perfect. He was, uh, presented himself really. Uh, it was fluent. It was um, confident. It looked really well. So, so there are always steps in this direction, yes, and sometimes it works then out. It's about, in this moment, consistency, you know, but um, he's on a really good way. Hopefully, no idea. Could I could I change the time? No. So we have to. No idea. I I don't know. But would I, would I have been disappointed after um, going out of the Champions League like this? Yes. When you could see, um, um, Pep was disappointed too. So and that's. Uh, but what he said is right. So they have to learn of it. So that's the only thing you can do after a game like this. Uh, so it was how I said to really. Um, Spectacular games and uh, Monaco in, in this moment is not only flying in the league. Obviously, they are flying in the and now in the Champions League too. And um, that's uh, it's full of confidence and all that stuff. And 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 I thought um, the changes City made in the game was really good. So in half time, for example, Monaco, where they always have a, have an answer and. Um, and um, always can change little things, bigger things. They changed already a few things since 
So and Hayden Sterling play now consistently on the wing and all that stuff. So that's it's really good to watch, I have to say. And um, yeah, and then it's a, it's it's a real challenge to play against them. What what it meant to them or what what they what they how which mood they are now. I have no idea, so I, I don't know them good enough. But um, we cannot change, so we have to take it like it is, and we will be there. It's more, I'm more interested about in which mood we go there, um, and what can we do there. And we, so we should concentrate on the football side. I don't know. I don't think they will be still disappointed. I think more they want to strike back, whatever, or bounce back, however you will, would say. And um, yeah, but that makes no difference for us too. No, we, we defend very deep this time and wait what they will do and then um, we have a big a lot of space to um, for counter attacks. <laughs> Could be difficult. If I said if you get, if you are passive against City, no chance. So you need to be active. To act to be active, you need to be brave. Monaco couldn't do it two halves, eh? so they did it first half. Yes, look good, yeah, and then second half, chance after chance after chance. I think we should not hope that that that. Um, Aguero missed these chances again when he had his positions. And um, that's um, so we have to, even Monaco could defend better than they did in the second half. But they did really well in the first half. Was, how is that? Not a surprise, but really brave of Monaco. Uh, obviously, a very good manager there and a very skilled team. And they used the momentum. And um, it was nice to see. I think we should get the last the last points we can get over against City, and then we uh, white flag and um, say give us a little break. <laughs> so, by the way, after the City game, okay, there's international break, but then is Everton. So I don't think that anybody should think about which position they have already. They are closer. Um, so no, I don't. I don't think about things like this. Uh, um, yes, there are a lot of games to play, a lot of points to win, uh, but I think about them when, yeah, when they are when they are there and not in this moment. So let's play the game on on Sunday. Let's come through the international break. What means let's come them all back um, healthy, fit, with good experiences. So. Okay, it's difficult that they all win because uh, Germany faces England, and, so, um, uh, and uh, but we have only with, with with a good feeling, and then that's all the rest of the season. Eh? That's that's a, the plan. And just on Jordan Henderson, is he expected to be back at the end of the international break for that Everton win? In this moment, yes. And until now, we didn't have um, any. Yeah, of course, it's an intense, um, it's an intense season, and things like this can happen. But uh, all, all the injuries we had were, were different. Obviously, um, um, different players. A few had a few more during the season. And it's a little bit when you start at one point, uh, then it happens um, a few times again. So Dejan Lovren had this. Um, four weeks, this knee issues it was not, not not a real. It was nothing. It was fatigue. It's kind of. The body is a very complex thing, and eh? sometimes it's a little thing what changed uh, was a big influence. Obviously, that was with him, and we, we took a little time to find it. With a lot of specialists were looking for it, and um, so then he was fit again, and then he got uh, a knee in his back uh, when we trained set pieces. That happens too, but it's very painful. So that these things happen. So it's uh, it's different. Uh, there are different reasons for it. Yes, um, for all of us, it's it's a long year. It's a long season. And especially for the players who play um, for their for their national teams, no breaks. It's always go go go, and um, of course, that makes it more likely that you pick a few injuries. That's how it is. We try we try to 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 switch the. The game on Monday that we that we could play all these players, which we, we, at the end, yeah, there were a lot of players which are actually in my squad. Meanwhile, all the time um, they played there, and um, 
but most of them were still or are still U23 players from, from the age. So that was I was there, watched the game. It was really, really nice to watch the progress the progress they made. Um, Dejan played really serious adult game, so I was not kind of embarrassed that he has to play there now or something. Um, Joe did really well, coming more and more, better and better, so got the rhythm. Um, yeah, all the, all the boys uh, did really well, and um, that was that makes absolutely sense that we try to do things like this. We have we have no time to make friendly games during the week, and um, not enough players. And if you want, so but giving giving the player this this opportunity. Um, against a very young, young Chelsea side, obviously, but still a good Chelsea side, was uh, made really sense. Um, okay. yeah, you know, <laughs> and first on him, yeah. What can I say? What, what, what can I say about what Pep Guardiola is thinking? I would say the consolation with um, this squad and Pep Guardiola at Barcelona was that was um, the perfect role model for a win-win situation. Eh? So having all these ideas and these players who can obviously. Uh, um, yeah, fulfill all the plans you have, and also that that's fantastic. And um, so they it was an outstanding combination, I would say. People would know more about Bayern Munich. Would say that it's a, another really good generation. What they what they had there, good players in the best age and all that stuff. And then this this world class manager there. So um, there was not a second team in Germany. So we tried to be it as hard as possible, but how you know, because di for different reasons, was not possible. And that's a big difference. And here coming here, that's uh, the most difficult league in the world, because um, a lot of teams have a lot of money, I would say, and a lot of teams have a lot of good players. And that's the one thing. So it's, it's really difficult to become champion in England, 100%. And then I would say the other thing is what's more than in other countries, the result is about everything. So nobody cares how you get the result. Nobody. It's in other countries it's different. You would, with a few styles of play, you would play the, the stadium empty. In a few other countries, I would say, but let's hear a difference. So, so do it. And afterwards, if, if you defend with 10 players in a box and, and blocks 20 shoots, and, and I hear perfect defending. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's different too. So it's allowed. That's all good. We have to. That's he has to adapt to it. We need to adapt to it, and sometimes we need to do it. So you know, in different games, that's completely everything is legal, but the culture is obviously different. And um, but I'm not in doubt about his quality. Actually, maybe a few other people are. I'm not. So that's um, um, I. I think I respect him really a lot, and I played him a lot, and I can say. Um, it's quite difficult to play his teams, so and um, yeah, it's interesting. Hi, Adrian. Could I ask you for your thoughts on uh, Ben Woodburn's call to Wales? You in the past have obviously been you for some patience with his development and um, for international call at the age of 17. Can you get your thoughts on, on that? First of all, I'm, I'm, I've I'm really um, obviously Ben is happy about it, so I'm happy about it. So that's the first thing. Do I think it's um, should have been now? I would say probably not, but it's a problem. No, so it's it's okay. Not because it's only because of the stories now around, and obviously we cannot stop this. But Ben is a wonderful kid, and um, he can can deal with it 100%. He can all, he understands this all, and he knows. Um, Really, what he has to learn, still to learn, and all that stuff, and I can I, I can understand then, yeah, that um, we thought, come on, bring. My, I heard the manager said he's one of the best 23 players in Wales, so he needs to be there. So that's his decision. All good, but now we are two managers who have to make sure that he can that he. Um, Develops in the right way, um, well, because usually it was more my responsibility 
and now we can share it a little bit, so that's good. Anything from Glenn or Matt? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Going there or not? Yes, please. Ah. Thank you very much. <coughs>